hello dear friends welcome back again so today i am with the problem solving video of uh, module 2 of the control engineering as exams are very near now so the control engineering is the toughest subject as far as the rest of the subjects of seventh semester are concerned like cad and m and uh, additive manufacturing like tqm uh, control engineering is the only subject which is uh, tough to handle over there and lot of problems are there which are time consuming okay so you have to deal with the uh, problematic part more than the theory part in the control engineering so today i am with the problem solving video which is uh, given in the uh, what we call july august 2022 paper of vtu so i will take uh, like this variety of question i will take here for a unity feedback system with g of s is equal to k upon s square s plus 3 s plus 4 find the value of k for which the steady state error is to be limited to 10 when the input is 1 plus 12 t plus 50 upon 2 t square like that i have taken here the question k into uh, k divided by s square s plus 2 s plus 3 i have only uh, what we call as varied here the data i have varied s plus 3 is here s plus 4 is here so i have taken s plus 2 s plus 3 so equation is same then for the value of k for the value of k to limit steady state error to 10 it is the same for the value of k for which the steady ser, uh, steady state error is to be limited to 10 when the input is 1 plus 12 t i have varied input here 1 plus 10 t plus uh, 40 by 2 t square so rest of the question is same so i will deal with it so what you have to observe in this particular question my dear friends you have to check uh, the inputs over here these are the inputs so when input to system is 1 plus 10 t plus 40 by 2 t square so uh, you have to remember the input is combination of three inputs okay so let us calculate their magnitudes so r of t is equal to it is denoted by r of t i have told you in many of the videos uh, of the control engineering over there so r of t is nothing but input which is equal to 1 plus 10 t plus 40 by 2 t square these are the inputs this is called the step input so for it i can denote it with a1 a1 is equal to unit step okay unit step input so it is equal to 1 this 10 t is called the ramp input so it is denoted by a2 a2 is equal to ramp input which is given by 10 which is attached with t so which is uh, without t over here so that is unit step this is the ramp input and 40 upon 2 t square it is the parabolic input so it is denoted by a3 parabolic input which is equal to 40 so this is the first point next one you have to calculate the error coefficients for this unit step for the ramp in uh, ramp uh, unit and parabolic unit you have to just calculate the uh, error coefficients okay first of all let us calculate the error coefficient of for the unit step so kp is equal to it is a formula here limit s tends to zero g of s h of s g of s h of s is given in the question so g of s h of s is nothing but k upon s square s plus 2 s plus 3 okay so just uh, put down the value here limit s tends to zero instead of g of s h of s write down the given equation k upon s square into s plus 2 s plus 3 now you have to put s is equal to zero in this equation when you put zero in this equation so see here it will become k divided by s if you put zero so zero into this term will be zero into uh, zero will be zero over here so anything divided by zero is always in equal to infinity so its value is infinity so this is error coefficient for input next one is error coefficient for the ramp so it will be given by kv is equal to limit s tends to zero s g of s h of s so you have you see here here is no s then s comes then accordingly s square s cube like that will be the formulas so here is kv is equal to limit s g of s h of s limit uh, s tends to 0 so limit s tends to 0 g of s h of s is same the formula k upon s square into s plus 2 s plus 3 and this s the formula of s so which is equal to if you put s is equal to 0 so it will become 0 okay into k is 0 divided by this uh, s is again 0 so 0 into anything is 0 so 0 by 0 is nothing but infinity so it is always equal to infinity anything anything divided by 0 is always equal to infinity then we have to calculate the error coefficient for parabolic input so it is ka is equal to limit s tends to 0 s square g of s into h of s so it will become limit of s tends to 0 s square and the formula okay k divided by s square into s plus 2 s plus 3 so this s square and this s square will get cancelled right uh, it will become k divided by s if you put 0 so 0 plus 2 is 2 0 plus 3 is 
3 so 3 plus 2 is sorry 3 into 2 it will become in the multiplication form 3 into 2 that is 6 so k upon 6 is the answer for the uh, parabolic input so these three you have you have to calculate then simply put it uh, these three values in the formula so formula is steady state error is equal to uh, steady state error 1 means input plus ramp plus parabolic these three are the steady state errors so which is equal to for the uh, unit step it is a1 divided by 1 plus kp a1 already you calculated uh, here it is given and kp already you calculated okay so a1 divided by 1 plus kp is the formula plus a2 divided by kv is the formula for the ramp input and parabolic input is equal to a3 divided by ka okay so you have to put down the values now it is given in the question that find the value of k to be to limited to limit steady state error to 10 it means steady state error is 10 over here so this ess is equal to 10 so 10 is equal to this formula a1 a1 is 1 okay so 1 divided by 1 plus kp kp is nothing but infinity so 1 divided by 1 plus infinity plus uh, a2 a2 is 10 so 10 divided by kv kv is infinity over here so 10 divided by infinity plus uh, this one a3 a3 is 40 so 40 upon uh, ka ka is k by 6 so k upon 6 when you calculate this it will uh, you will come up with 10 is equal to this 1 divided by 1 plus infinity is 0 <coughs> 1 divided by infinity is always 0 1 divided by 0 is always infinity remember it okay so this is 0 plus 10 upon infinity is always 0 okay anything divided by infinity is 0 so plus 40 divided by k by 6 this 6 will come up in the numerator 6 into 40 that is 240 and this k will here so k uh, if you uh, what we call calculate the k value so you will get k is equal to this 10 will get divided to this uh, 240 term so you will get k is equal to 24 so value of k is 24 to limit the steady state error to 10 so this was your problem in the vtu that is 8 marks question i hope this is understood to you people my dear friends this is a very simple problem only you uh, only thing that uh, you should need here is to recognize the inputs and you have to calculate the uh, error coefficients like kp kv ka then you have to put down these values in the required formula so that you will get the k value over here this will be the given in the question steady state error to be limited to whatever the value will be over there so i hope you will tackle this problem in the examination thanks for watching my video